look at all these rocks. If only I had someone to talk about them with. Whoa, guys! Look at all these rocks! Come on, you gotta see this! Alright, so we've got just some really green looking stone all, all around here. Really green, really green colored stone. I'm gonna call this green stone. <laughs> That's what it is, yeah. <laughs> it's actually green stone. Green stone is a type of igneous rock that is green. Why is it? Let's talk about it. The ocean has carved this mighty cave, a large rock orifice for us to explore and get a really good look at what's going on here. Check this out. So the ocean has literally carved this path into this rock by the Pacific Ocean, the mighty forces of nature slowly carving things out. But I don't care about that. That's water, water's, water's boring. I wanna talk about the rocks. It's actually really neat. I really like the ocean, but um, you can see here is that this rock has, has these big, big bulbs. Um, a big bulb right here, a big thingy right here, a big thingy right here. It looks really weird. It's got some, some weird little features going on. Like, look at this. We've got this little piece right here, this one right here. This one's kind of eroded, but you can kind of see the shape there where it's rounded. It's rounded, like check this out. Look at this up here, this one over here. And then up here as well. Ah! Whew. <clears throat> so, what's actually going on here? What is this greenstone and how does it intertwine, interweave with our sandstone? What's going on? Well, it turns out, as I mentioned earlier, greenstone is a igneous rock. This is a basalt. The, the, the crystal size on this is really small. It's hard to see because the crystals um, formed very quickly. Basalts form either on the surface somewhere or underwater. They do not form underground. When uh, igneous rocks form underground, the crystals have longer to cool and therefore are larger. I can't see any crystals in this rock. So it is a um, igneous rock that's cooled very quickly. Um, and that's what, th that's what that's telling us. Whoop. All right, so also something that we have going on here are these formations here, these, these weird rounded things that, are, that, are, that have formed. These are basalt pillows. Pillow basalt is what it's called when basalt comes into contact with a very cool substance a w like water and it instantly forms this outer crust. It instantly solidifies. It's very common to find pillow basalts in Hawaii where new magma, um, or excuse me, lava, new lava is shooting out into the ocean forming right there on the sea floor. It hits that cold water, instantly solidifies and forms this crust this pillow crust. And as that fills up, maybe it'll spurt out and then you'll get another one that forms and that will fill up and then another one will form and another one on top of that. This is a pillow basalt, meaning that this basalt, this igneous rock formed underwater. It formed in the ocean. So we have our deep ocean shirt, deep ocean sedimentary rock, very slow process of dead regularians falling from the sea floor and compacting. And then we have that sandstone, that, 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 that quick formation. It's like a deep sea landslide, some kind of an event that occurred that then was preserved in the fossil record. And then we have this basalt, this deep ocean basalt that formed. So there was some kind of a rupture in the Earth's crust or a volcano or something that was spewing out lava, spewing out hot liquid magma. Not, not magma. Magma is, is under the ground. Lava is is when it, it comes out on land, all, 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 it's, it's, it, yeah. Um, <laughs> so this is another piece to the puzzle of what's going on here. This is absolutely wild, super jazz we can share with you, which means it's time. Woo! To put this down, huh, in our handy dandy field book. All right, all right, all right, check it out. 
So, this is stop number three. Hello. Basalt. Where we've got kind of this big old rock face here and then kind of the ocean washing up there. And then maybe, maybe we've got our cave cutting through the rock. But this here, we have basalt pillows. So we have one little pillow, and then another little pillow on top of that, and another little pillow, and another little pillow. And it's built up these large basalt pillows, which are called pillows. Might want to fall asleep here, might not. It's kind of not very comfortable. Not a very comfortable spot. There you go. Let's see what else we can see. Rock to rock!